All right guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna to do another video with the Cup Cadet the Pro Z 972 SD. And today's video is gonna be all about how it can handle hills, jumping curbs, all that kind of stuff. When I talked to uh, Cup Cadet, uh, the one thing they told me about this mower is that this mower is designed for parks, recreation, uh, municipalities, that kind of stuff. And so we're gonna kind of put it through the paces today and see if it can handle that kind of mowing. Um, obviously we're right here, we got, a, we got kind of a side hill um, on this road right here. This one's not that bad. We're gonna start off with this one and we're gonna move to the other side. We're gonna try to do a little bit steeper and steeper stuff. Um, Cup Cadet told me this thing can handle up to, uh, what was it, 25 degrees of slope. Um, I think we can do more than that. So today we're gonna, we're gonna try that. Right now what I want to do is I want to kind of go around the mower a little bit and kind of give you um, kind of my thoughts on the mower. Some of the things I like, some of the things I'm not too fond of, and, and then we'll get out and test the mower. Alright, so the first thing, um, obviously when you see this mower is you see the steering wheel. So since it has a steering wheel, it has to have foot pedals. So the steering wheel took a little bit getting used to, but honestly I kind of like the steering wheel right now. The one thing I'm not too fond of is the foot pedals. I, I, I really don't like having to move my feet from you know forward and reverse. So, so basically your left foot pedal is forward, your right one is reverse. Uh, there is no brake or anything like that. You got the hand brake, uh, the park brake, but um, so that's the one thing I kind of, like I said, not too fond of. It works, it works good, but it's just, I don't know if it's just having to get used to it or whatever, but um, having to move your foot over uh, to go forward and reverse is a little bit of a pain in the butt, especially when you're doing, uh, you know, a property and you got a lot of turns and you're trying to kind of, you know, take it easy, not tear up any turf. You're trying to do your correct three-point turns, things like that. It's a little bit annoying having to move your foot from left to right all the time. I kind of like, you know, the standards and the lap bar machines where it's all right here. You don't have to kind of take your hands and do this, move it over, and and it's just, it's just a little bit weird for me. So another thing I really like about this machine, and we talked about this in the first video, but this thing is built like a tank. This thing is, I mean, it is massive. And when you sit on it and you drive it, you feel the weight. I mean, it, you feel like you can literally drive over anything. And we have, we've taken this thing kind of off-roading, if you will, and we haven't got stuck or anything like that. So, uh, but the one downside, in my opinion, about a machine this big and this heavy is the ride is, it's kind of bumpy. You got the good seat on there. That seat really helps a lot. It's the, it's the air ride seat. But when, when, you, when you just have a lot of weight underneath you in the machine, you're gonna feel the bumps. You're just gonna feel the bumps. It's just the way it is. But uh, this thing is built like a tank. Okay, so this thing does have the uh, 35 horsepower Kawasaki. If it's, if it's, the, it's the FX1000V. And uh, this thing really sounds really good when you start it up, in my opinion. It's kind of like a hot rod. It makes you feel kind of good, especially when you're sitting on this big type of machine. But the thing will guzzle some gas. We go through a lot of gas with this, with this mower. Um, I was, I was kind of shocked and a little bit surprised. But I think it's just because the, the weight of the machine, the big bulkiness of it, you're just going to use more gas. So this here is the uh, roll bar system. And uh, we're definitely going to use it in this video, mowing on hills and things. I actually got a few comments on the first video about not using the roll bar system, um, but you know we're, we were mowing flat ground, so um, I don't like to have it up when we're mowing, you know, flat ground. There's you got no chance of tipping over. You're not going to be rolling if you have this thing up all the time. Uh, tree branches, all that, all that kind of stuff tends to get caught on it, and it's just a big mess. But when you are mowing kind of uh, hills and you know, steep banks and all that kind of stuff. You want to have this up because that will protect you. Okay, so another comment I got on the last video was, is this thing a true zero turn mower? And yes, this thing is a very, very true uh, zero turn mower. I'm actually really surprised at how nimble this machine is for how big, how big it is. So basically these front wheels, they will turn all the way to the right if you want to go right and you will literally do a zero turn. And now, uh, some other comments I got on the first first video was why aren't you doing zero turns? Why are you still doing three-point turns? This thing must not be able to do that. That's just the way I mow guys. I don't I don't I don't go in you know 360 turns 
even with a traditional zero turn mower you're going to tear up a lot of turf when you do that so that's why i don't i'm just so used to doing the three-point turn that I, that I just don't do that but today we are going to show you guys how nimble this thing is and how it turns so one of the features of this mower is when you turn the wheels and you start turning it's got some kind of clock system in there we talked about it in the first video but it makes the back wheels kind of go backwards as you're turning to eliminate some of that turf uh, that, that's going to get tore up when you do that with this machine here the back tires it is a dually machine the back tires are really really aggressive so uh, when, you, when you're turning sharply you are going to tear up some turf but with some regular sized tires i think that is a very very good system the way they have it i can i can already tell on this one here it does save a lot of turf uh, but like i said with with that aggressive um, tire on there you are going to tear up a little bit of turf if you do a really quick turn uh, but, this, but like I said, this machine is not for, um, you know, mowing residential yards. This machine is to mow a lot of big properties. Um, and the reason why we got the big tires on there is so you can hold hills better and, and steeps and you can mow all different kinds of stuff with it. So, so that's enough of me uh, talking about the mower. We're going to get to kind of showing you guys some of the features of this mower. The first thing we're going to do is kind of show you how nimble this machine is for how big it is, um, how well it turns. And we're going to we're going to talk about that kind of clock system a little bit, and kind of show you how when you when you turn really sharp right, the back tires will kind of go in reverse a little bit. And uh, that helps to eliminate uh, rutting up yards and doing those uh, and tearing up turf. So uh, we're going to do that first. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the top of this hill and we're going to come down the fence and we're going to turn really sharp on this fence. I'm going to get as close to that fence as I can and I'm going to I'm going to take a sharp turn to the right and I'm going to kind of show you I mean it, it will do that. You can literally put the front of that mower on that fence and then turn right. Um, it's, it's actually pretty impressive. I'll show you. And then you turn the wheels and you literally just do this, which is pretty impressive. Um, and when we got the camera down here, we'll kind of show you what the back wheels were doing at that time. So now what we're going to do is go, we're going to run up and down this, uh, this kind of hill right here. We're going to see how it does. I'm not really sure of this slope but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty steep. So we're just gonna run up and down and kind of mow a couple, uh, couple lines with it and we'll see how this thing does.
right guys so I really hope you can kind of see the agility of this machine so I, I went straight up here and I did a 360 right on this bank and uh, hopefully with the camera angle you guys could see the the back tires kind of going backwards as the mower is turning to the right and um, and honestly I, I'm really shocked I thought I was gonna slide down um, I thought I was gonna just not be able to hold where I was at and do a 360 on a bank like that is actually pretty impressive and I don't know if you can tell it on camera but right up there there's kind of a big dip um, just right in the side of the bank there and uh, I didn't even see it because the grass is kind of tall and I'm up there and I'm mowing and all of a sudden I kind of hit that bank and I kind of go a little bit down a little bit and, and you know caused it to be a little bit more steep and I was like uh oh I don't know if you can hear me on camera but I was like uh oh <laughs> so um, I'm actually really really impressed that it held it and honestly look at that cut that's that's a pretty good cut and uh, a cup cadet yeah I know you're probably watching this video and I know you're not gonna want to hear this but we've had this machine for three or four weeks now um, we haven't sharpened the blades one time <laughs> we've actually used it used the mower quite a bit we haven't sharpened the blades we haven't done anything to this mower um, and it's still putting down a really good cut um, yeah you can kind of tell I mean the grass ain't super tall but this is a this is kind of the city property this is kind of the, the type of property that this mower is going to be used on a lot um, it's, it's a little bit thick it's not wet or nothing but look at that that's that's pretty nice So another thing that you're going to be doing a lot with this machine, and I would know because I did a lot of a lot of city properties last year, is you're going to be hopping a lot of curbs. There's just no good access for a machine like this. This big, 72 inch mower, you know, they just don't make sidewalks big enough for mowers like this. And when you're doing city properties like this, um, you're going to have to hop some curbs, you're going to have to get creative, you're going to have to get where you need to get without having to go all the way around to a street or something and uh, that's why i wanted to test this thing out on some curves so let's check it out so one more feature i wanted to talk about was the uh, the deck uh, how you raise and lower the deck you just do it by this button right here so you literally you set your pins right here for the, for the depth that you want to go. You set your pins, and then uh, you raise and lower the deck by just hitting this button. So obviously there's a lot of benefits to that without having to do a foot pedal or anything like that. And um, I don't drive zero turns, most of you guys know that, but the guys that do drive zero turns, um, they, they tell me one of the biggest benefits uh, of uh, having a zero turn is when you're when you're going along along a yard and you have a dip in the yard you can kind of push the foot pedal and it will raise the deck up a little bit so you don't scout well here it's just right here at your fingertips so you can you know if you need to go up a little bit like you know if I'm coming down and I want to hop this curb or come down I just I just hit the button as I'm driving and I don't have to stop and do all that kind of stuff so um, I actually think that's a pretty cool feature so we're gonna hop over to the other side, try to get something a little bit steeper.
good. It's pretty good. Uh, it's not as steep as, it, uh, as I thought it was. I didn't, I didn't get the pucker at all on that one. <laughs> uh, so we're going to try to find one where I really don't want to mow. So uh, basically I got kind of a pucker scale. Zero is flat ground. Five is I'm going to die. And I want to find somewhere around the four. four maybe and four and a half. half. I don't want to die, but I kind of want to get a little thrill. So we're going to go find one. All right, guys, we did some searching. I think we found about a four. Could possibly be a four and a half. Uh, this one's definitely going to make the butt pucker up a little bit. As you can see, it's pretty down, pretty far down there. So. That he's putting on the seatbelt for this one. Oh God. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> I am serious. I'll do it if it looks, not. It looks kind of scary. I'll do it if not. I can't have you show me up like that. <laughs> now I have to. guys so we made it I made it down the hill I'm gonna tell you what that was a that was a butt pucker of four and a half I thought it was gonna be a five because I thought I was gonna die uh, about halfway down I started sliding that's the first time this mower has ever slid on any kind of hill or steep bank like that but I was I was definitely nervous and then I just I just now just looked at Justin I said how are we gonna get out of here because you can't go that way that's highway and all and it's just it's just as steep all the way down there the only other way out is around the creek and back through the park where we just roll through. So we're going to have to try to get out of here. So that's probably going to be the end of the videos of us trying to get out of here. But I'm going to try to go up and down a couple times, see if we can get it. Um, I'm not sure what the angle is on this one, um, but I was telling Justin, man, it's got to be, it's got to be around the 40, 40 degree because, you know, obviously zero is flat all the way up is 90. So right in the middle has got to be 45. So this one's got to be, it's got to be right around there. So, yep. All right, guys, let's give her a shot. Butt pucker. Oh man, that's pretty steep right there. Yeah. I'm gonna try to go up. I'm gonna try to go up one more. I'm too scared to kind of turn to come back 
that way. <laughs> I just don't want this thing flipping up. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll get a little braver by the time I get down there. We'll see. Maybe the second go around might build you a little bit. I cannot go up any higher than that. I'm done. <laughs> Adios. This video is over. <laughs>